All right, ladies and gents, this is my latest project. <laughs> For those of you that care, this is a crazy, crazy difficult build I'm doing. Just for the heck of it. It's not going to accomplish anything impressive. It's not going to go anywhere that couldn't be reached via more sane means, I suppose. <laughs> this is the Gossamer. It is, uh... Well, it's starting pretty for one thing. <laughs> this is going to be a living project, specifically something that I continuously work on. What I'm doing now is I'm going EVA to check on my docking work. And in combination between the complexity of this and fraps running, you can see I'm getting eh, five, three, four frames a second. Not unexpected. But Wack has the patience. Right now I'm checking my docking clamps. Doing a little, uh, careful examination here to see how good my aim was off. I know they're not going to lock on perfect. Only one will do that, and there's an array of seven of them. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, <laughs> look at that gap. That's bad engineering right there. <laughs> yeah, well. It's enough. Hopefully. Uh, this is the command and control module in the front here. That's the first I put into LKO. And behind we have the first lander module. And you're saying, all right, whack job, why, uh, why lander module? What are you talking about? What's going on, man? What's up? What's happening? What's going on? <laughs> well, <coughs> oh crap, I don't wanna go too quick here. <sighs> As we're about to see here, this module has structurally reinforced legs. <laughs> Beautiful. There it is. And you can see a happy little quartet of skipper engines that will provide me landing power. Landing. You idiot whack job, you say, where do you plan on taking that thing? There. <laughs> now this is the Mark I. It is nowhere, nowhere near done. So far, we have the command and control module. We have a lander module. Behind this, I'll be designing, building, launching, and docking a Keithane refinery module plus drilling unit. Behind that will go another lander module. Behind that will be a crew berthing area and RCS storage. Behind that, another lander module. <laughs> and then lastly, there is going to be the transplanetary drive, which will consist of a number of atomics, as you can imagine. So it will fly horizontally and land flat like a pancake. Because, uh, because I think I can. <laughs> God, it looks so short and stubby. Oh, man, it's going to be an ordeal. <laughs> it's going to be an ordeal recording this when it's done. Oh, this is a couple of days worth of work here. I went through about eight different uh, cassette designs. I call it a cassette because it's just a blank uh, docking ports, central fuel tank column. No bells, no whistles, just all the structural supports. Now I take that blank cassette, I'll load it up with uh, whatever I'm expecting to use. In this case, landing legs, engines, fuel lines. And uh, I didn't even use a tug. <laughs> Thanks to that one little RCS tank up there. 
control core batteries solar panels uh, I was able to dock it all by itself and I liked that design enough to want to <laughs> do the same thing with the others and as far as the structural panels on the outside I did that just for the heck of it they had nothing to the design at all except uh, a few less frames a second <laughs> probably Uh, so this is the cross section. This will be inside the ship then. Oh, uh, that's a beauty. <sighs> I know they're saying in point two three when it's done that there's going to be some optimizations, and uh, I'm really hoping so. I would love to continue to build this way and go bigger and bigger and bigger. Ah, <laughs> oh, this game could be so beautiful at times, huh? And to think, I was one of those idiots who saw it on uh, Steam and dismissed it. I thought, oh, it's just uh, another crap little boring indie game. Something pasted together just well enough to attract a few bucks. Yeah. And I saw a thread on the JRF with other people's pictures and decided to give it a second try. <laughs> Very glad I did. The only thing that really worries me is the structural stability on landing on a moon. Now, I'm imagining those magnets will be powerful enough and the counterweight in the back to be enough to hold that thing up. But, uh, eh, it might shear off. <laughs> if it does, all that means is data. That'll tell me I need to redesign. I didn't try again. <laughs> I don't think it will, though. I think it'll hold up pretty darn good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Gossamer. Two of seven modules done. The other two landing legs are designed. I just gotta launch them and dock them in when it's their turn. I just have to design the mining unit, the crew berthing and RCS storage facility, and the transplanetary drive. Uh, none of which I think will give me any particular difficulty. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, Jeb, let's go back to where the sacks are. That's it, ladies and gents. Nice, short, simple, laggy. <laughs> Thanks for watching.